there's really no use in changing the clock setting right now and testing line 30 and making it go, making it go active because we know it's not going to get red as long as it is line 30. Now, as you have certainly picked up by now, those numbers on the far left-hand side are sequence numbers. They are a relatively new iOS feature. They've been around for a while now, and they are live savers because now when you need to go back in and edit a line or add a line uh, or even remove a line, it's much easier than it used to be. You used to just you know copy an ACL off, take the one line out, copy back on, etc. A real mess. And we don't have to do that now, but you do have to be kind of careful about how you remove a line from an ACL. You have to be very careful about it, and that's what we are about to learn. First thing we need to do then, really, is to take that line off of the bottom, and then we need to bring it back into the ACL, but we need to put it between 10 and 20. We could actually put it between 0 and 9, and that would be okay because we have two very explicit permit statements. But we're going to put it in the middle of 10 and 20, and I stress the middle there because before we get started, let me give you another helpful hint about when we're editing or moving around the sequence numbers. Always leave yourself some breathing room on both sides because it would be easy for me to go in and just say, okay, you know, I got line 10 and line 20, I need to put one in the middle, I'll make it 11. Well, that may not catch you, and it may catch you later because later on, depending on the statements, you may need one to go between 10 and 11. And then you're like, okay, is there a 10.5? No, there's not a 10.5. Uh, we are stuck with whole numbers here. So leave yourself some breathing room, and I'm going to go with 15 when we go there. But first, we've got to get rid of that line 30. So what I would do is just use my up arrow to repeat that command, do a Control-A, move to the front of the very long line, and just type the word no. And we'll just verify that my entire access list is gone. If you are going to remove a line from an ACL, don't do it like I just did it because you see what happened. The entire access list is gone. And this is one of those rare times where just putting the word no in front of the command you want to negate is not going to give you what you wanted. Because apparently all the iOS really sees of this command is this part. No access list 101 deletes the entire thing. Doesn't matter what comes after that. It sees, whoop, it wants to get rid of access list 101. So while there is a way to get rid of a line, uh, this isn't it. So we obviously do not want to use uh, just no in front of that. And again, you can learn from my pain because I remember learning this the hard way a long time ago. So what I'm going to do is pause the video for a moment, put access list 101 back in the way we had it, and then we'll look at another way to edit it and change those sequence numbers. And we're back. So there's the access list. I just put it right back into place and you see show IP access list and now we're back where we were with line 30 still needing to be moved. But we know now one way not to do that. To work with the sequence numbers too, um, you have to go into ACL config mode. Because let's just have a look around here. We go to access list 101 and you think, okay, I can do something here. Well, there's nothing here about a sequence number. And even if you start just mimicking what you had, like say, you know, permit, and we could use iOS help here, and you see a number there, but that's an IP protocol number. We can't use that as a sequence number. And you could just keep going here, and you're never going to see the option for a sequence number. It's not there. What you do have to do is go into ACL config mode, and that is going to be, remember, you still have to put extended or standard right here, and then your number and you're good to go. Now we need to take off sequence 30. We need to take that line off. And if you put that command here, actually let me show you iOS help here real quick. The very first choice here is sequence number. And one through a really big number. So we've got plenty of room there. What we want to do though first off, or really the, the point of this is to move line 30 to line 15. And here's the thing with sequence numbers. You can assign them, but you can't reassign them. So if I put 15 here and then just follow that with the command, you know, permit TCP host 172.12.123.3, etc., it's not going to do anything. It's not going to harm the ACL, but it's actually not going to do anything. Let me bring that up. You know we want to see that. There's the command, and I'll use Control A to go to the front of the line. And now instead of putting no, I will put 15 because I'm telling you, if you do the no access list thing here, it's going to delete it too. 
So um, what we can do is get rid of the accessless 101 part since we're already in config mode. And let's say that we were doing, we did sequence number 15 and we are permitting TCP host, et cetera. We're trying to move line 30 to line 15. And I hit enter and it seems to have gone in just fine. And you can see that absolutely nothing happened. It's one of those oddities where the router does not say, hey, you can't do that because you already have that line in here. It's just going to ignore what you did. So we can't, uh, we've seen a couple of ways we can't delete it. We, we've seen one way we can't delete it. We've seen a way we can't move it. Let's finally just delete it because that's what we have to do. We have to delete line 30 and then bring it back in as sequence number 15. And this is how you want to delete line 30, just with the word no and then the sequence number and then that's it. No 30. Seems like a pretty brief command after everything else we've typed, right? That can't possibly be right. Well, it is because line 30 is gone now. So this is what we have to do. We're not reassigning a number. We're going to delete the line and then put it back in with line 15 or number 15, I should say. So IP access list extended 101. Now we can use iOS help to bring that command back. And now here's our command with the 15 in front of it again. Ta-da! We finally got it there. So we saw how not to do it. Don't try no access list 101 and then deleting that line because the whole thing's going to go away. And you can't reassign the number. What you actually have to do is delete the line from the ACL and then put it back in with the sequence number of your choice. So now, once line 15 is active, it should permit router 3 to telnet in. And we are going to test that at the beginning of the very next video.